some more hand shadow exercises for you today. This is a really lovely book. I think this is one of the best hand shadow books by Albert Almosnino, a gentleman who actually passed away in April this year in his 90s um, in Israel. And uh, I'll show you a picture of him. There he is, Mr. Almosnino, practicing an elephant, performing an elephant. The nice thing about this book is it's got really good photographs of the hands and the shadows and he gives you very simple instructions what you need to make a shadow show. Your hands, a light and a screen. This is why this art film is so wonderful. So he's got some very good exercises. I'm just having a look at them. Um, some of them we may have already done from the other books but some of them are quite different. So here we go. Similar to the Rao exercise, we have our fingers like this, and then we have them like that, like this, like that. Now here's something new. Fingers all mount up like this to make something like a flower. A bit challenging, but do it with both hands. Very good exercise for stretching this bit of the hands. Always, if your hands get tired, give them a bit of a shake and stop for a little bit and relax the hands, drop them down to your sides. Remember to breathe, of course. So here's another exercise, finger straight and bend your thumb like that, like that. And then we have something we've already done with the other exercises, fingers down like this. And here's another one we haven't done. It's one of the animals. So curled fingers, bend these fingers. Practice doing that. And another lovely one. Cross your little finger over your ring finger and your middle finger over your index finger. Like that. It's almost like crossing your fingers, but you're doing it with both. Oh, <laughs> a bit challenging. Both sides. And then another exercise, we're going to bend in these fingers, put the thumb down and keep these fingers straight, like that. Oh, done it wrong. There we go. So again, that one and that one, that one, those ones, like that. And then bending the fingers from the this knuckle like that. And opening the fingers and splaying the fingers. Some of these exercises are very specific to certain animals, so they're very good to do. And then one we haven't done like that. Really exercises the hands. <laughs> so when you come back tomorrow, I'll show you some of the lovely animals in this book. It's a wonderful book.